Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Cold Waters. In this video, uh, this was taken from a stream last night, originally I was going to be playing as the Skipjack, but I died very quickly with that. I had a very interesting battle uh, with, I believe it was a Narwhal, although we'll see here shortly, uh, in which I was involved in an intense uh, fight against some Soviet air and sea units. Uh, there were helicopters dropping sonar buoys, uh, bear bombers dropping sonar buoys, pinning me back against, kind of screening me away from some surface vessels that I was trying to attack, um, and uh, noisemakers uh, working. Uh, I was able to create my first knuckle. Um, I was able to use the, the moss, uh, you know, submarine decoy. So it was a very interesting battle. So while I did fail with the skipjack last night, I'm going to jump in here uh, to the stream in mid-session as we look at uh, uh, kind of picking up something that's, I think, more worth watching. I don't think uh, the skipjack, you know, the whole 10 minutes of the skipjack was was worth your time, but I do think the uh, Narwhal engagement is. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the stream as we start up this new campaign. It's the 1984 campaign, um, and we are playing in a Narwhal-class fast attack submarine uh, with, uh, with the United States in uh, Cold Waters, the new game out by Killerfish uh, Games, the developers of Atlantic Fleet. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, sit back, and uh, feel free to leave your comments below, but enjoy, and uh, off we go. I don't know if anybody who knows more about subs can kind of jump in and, and let Elena know that. Oh, just red lead paint lasts longer. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, wow, so first order is very different this time around, right after I spent uh, the last uh, one complaining. So, uh, it looks like the war is eight days old maybe this time around, because it's starting in uh, 30 December, so the start date's a little bit variable. Um, data indicates enemy plans and amphibious landing at Narvik, Norway. A task force with landing ships is leaving Archangel now. You must intercept and destroy this force before the landing occurs. Nav Ops is depending on you. No other ships or aircraft are in position to intercept the, the enemy in time. Oh, great. Stop an enemy invasion all by yourself. Okay. Thank God we've got those uh, harpoons, I would guess. Um, cast off and anchors away. Let's get up to Norway real quick. So the Soviets appear to be pulling a Red Storm Rising. An attempt... Uh, wait, that's Norway. I'm dumb. I was thinking Iceland. Either way, same difference. I'm sure Norwegians love to hear that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the, the skipjack was always kind of a novelty class. There were only a handful of them. Enemy surface vessels. Get there. All right. We have a sonar contact bearing 94 degrees, Sierra 1. Broken and calm, no layer or duct. Our speed 20 knots, our heading 112, our depth 900 feet. Let's stay a bit further out. Let's stay at 25 kilometers and man battle stations. First thing I'm going to do, slow down. Let's get to one third, just be quiet. Let's be a hole in the water before the enemy has a chance to detect us. Um, I also would rather have a couple of harpoons in as well. I'm going to reload harpoons. I'm going to take a look here. We do have a sonar contact. We have a couple of sonar contacts, Sierra 2 and Sierra 1. Let's go ahead and see if we can identify what these things are. We're a bit out. We don't have, well, we have a 41% solution on Sierra 1. Um, did we just lose Sierra 2 already? I don't know. Sierra 2 is just way out there. Although things will change as we get better sound readings. Let's see if we can identify this bad boy. So you kind of just scroll through here until you think you've got the um, the proper boat. Now, on the top bar here, this is what kind of the class signature is. And on the bottom bar, this is what you're hearing. So you can see it's a little bit distorted. It's not perfect. Some ships sound and look very similar. Um, you can see here the Echo 2 is very close, but not, you know... God damn it, they're already active sonar on us. The hell is this thing? Could be a Kiev. No, I don't think so. Moskov? Udaloy? 
think it's this. Cassin class. Zero one one classified Cassin. Already. And he's got chopper in the air. Great. And a bear bomber. Oh, shit. Oh, man. All right. What's our noise signature right now? 75 ambient noise DB. That's a pretty damn quiet boat. But Los Angeles sits at like 110. Problem is there's no layer, which doesn't help us. I'm turning toward the cast in a bit. I would like to get a slightly better firing solution on this thing before I fire, especially because there's a bear bomber about. Let's see, getting... So that may be dipping sonar being used. Uh, the cast in at 10 kilometers, we can hit someone with a harpoon at, uh, an inside of 8 kilometers. Our solution is rapidly getting better, by the way. We're up to a 70% solution. I'm debating just firing off that using our... Uh... Let's do that. Let's get, a, let's get a track going here. Um... All right, one torpedo in the water. We're at 900 feet. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm just pointing in the general direction because, again, these are wire guided torpedoes. So we do have the ability to, to control them. Zero one is now classified as a Krivak. Oh, I suppose my classification was slightly off. It looks like our sonar has updated that classification. 95% solution on it. Nine kilometers, so we could fire a harpoon at it if we wanted. Let's update the track a bit. So you can see I just left click and right click where I want the track to change to, and the torpedo turns because it's connected by this wire. If the wire were to cut, or if we were to cut the wire, then we would lose control over the torpedo. And yes, they do have torpedoes sometimes come back and hit their own their own ships. Probably should set the torpedo shallow. I'm not quite sure how to do that. But just hit the up button to set it shallow. Looks like S2 is pinging us as well. Let's set them active. All right, so we've set the torpedo active. It's going way. Oh, wire break. Oh shit. Uh oh. Torpedo in... So he's got a bearing on us, I'm guessing. Let's turn around. Accelerate. Hoping our torpedo is homed in on this guy. We got a wire break. I think our torpedo was maneuvering too rapidly and it broke its own wire. You can see here the enemy has launched their own torpedo out at us. I'm accelerating and turning away. Problem is his is an unguided weapon, right? So... You know, it doesn't matter if we kill him. Which we did just get a good hit. Alright, so they're diving down on us. Oh shit, another torpedo in the water. Let's level off. Load a moss. Maybe that'll help. Drop a noisemaker. This thing's coming in. I, I hope I didn't wait too long. Oh. I don't know if this torpedo icon up here means they're they've acquired us.
These noisemakers are not very effective. God damn it. So we formed a knuckle, but it was too late, which is kind of like an air bubble. What's our damage control at? So hull's still at, at 50%. Code Array just got washed, but no flooding, so that's good. So I wonder if the torpedo mainly hit the... I don't know what that was, if those are depth charges or... Right, let's level off here. Not sure. So we've still got one... Enemy torpedo inbound. Alright. Whoa. Firing the moss off. The moss is a... Um, that's a simulated submarine, so that basically makes it sound like it's another sub. Not sure where this enemy torpedo is. Active? Oh, he just sailed right... Did he just sail? Oh, no, that's mine. Oh, God damn it! there's another one. Sounds like we've got another torpedo incoming. I don't know if I want to drop a noisemaker, because if that thing is going for my moss... They are intercepting each other. Can't tell what he's doing. Flying in, in formation almost. Moving relatively slow. It's really hard to tell. This whole 3D camera kind of makes it a little bit gamey to fight, but it's fun. See three trails here. There we are. Damn all these fish. <sighs> Alright, they're still a little ways off. Hope. Oh, trying to get them behind me. I think that pinging has got to be those torpedoes homing in on each other. Got to be, right? Those things have to be almost out of fuel, right? Uh oh, he's coming back in. Alright, is he actually coming in? That one's headed away. This one is headed toward the other one. Okay. Nothing's headed directly at us at the moment. It looks like these two are, are busy chasing each other. Alright. Whoops. I don't know, I was messing with ballast. Oh, nice, okay. So two just blew each other up, I think. I think this is our moss. Looks like it. Okay, so we've still got an enemy bear and... Uh, 
still got an enemy bear and chopper out there. But for the moment, we are alive. <laughs> the Krivik is dead. I don't know what this is. Flashing back and forth. Um, Sierra 2 signature. What is Sierra 2? Oh my goodness. I'm blanking. I can't even remember how to switch. Oh, can anybody remind me how I switch contacts again? Turn? Zero one classified as no. That's just me saying it's a it's a caution. Ah. E. Oh, contact faded. That's why we don't have anything. Um, it's gonna be difficult to pick up. Oh, our total ray just got repaired, I believe. Okay. All right. So I suppose we want to turn again. Uh, oh god, I thought I had another torpedo in the water against us. Enemy toad. Enemy dipping sonar. Actually, I think that's us down here. Damn. Maybe we just try and sneak away? Weapons nearby, aircraft nearby, vessels nearby. Okay, well, can't leave the area yet. I almost would rather just leave. Somehow there's a shadow of, uh... Okay, so contact reestablished. Oh god, CR2 is really close in. Um... What do we think it is? Hard to tell. Kind of like a, playing a guessing game. You gotta match the lines. An extra line here. I haven't gotten anything exactly matches up. Kara class cruiser? Could be. Actually, apparently a lot further away, 18 kilometers, than she appears. Okay, so these enemy air vessels are still... Air vessels? Aircraft. Still in the vicinity. We'll classify her as a car, a class... Is that a, that's a cruiser, CG. Only a 33% solution on her. I'd fire a torpedo, but I think what happened last time around was we kind of gave ourselves away by firing the torpedo. Um... Firing the torpedo, they, it looked like they fired a snapshot torpedo right back at us with that rocket assistance. I'd like to get the harpoon out on her, I just don't know how reliable this location is. Um, that's the that's the issue when you've got a low solution. He could be over here, for all I know. So it's kind of... got to kind of hope you get better readings in terms of sound as, as time goes on. So I think these are sonar, 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 sonar buoys. These little flashing here. They're little uh, temporary underwater sonar stations that can basically be used to pick us up. That would be my assumption. So they've laid kind of a sonar buoy line between us and the Kara. We haven't detected surface vessel. We haven't detected the surface the amphibious fleet yet. So far, just the, the Krivak and the Kara. Now, I'm assuming, or hoping, anyway, that um, as we... So they dropped a sonar buoy down on our moss as well, it looks like. So they've got several in the water now. But I'm assuming, or hoping, that as... You know, we can maybe whittle down there. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go south. That we can maybe whittle away at their their surface fleet. So even if I don't destroy the the fleet today, I can re-engage tomorrow potentially, and uh, and have less to deal with. 
moss really has long, uh, long lifespan. Those bears and choppers won't go away either. Speed up a little bit. Can we not? I don't know why I can't accelerate. Slow down, but I can't make more than two thirds. Huh. I didn't see any damage to propulsion. Maybe it is damaged? I didn't get any report about that. Look at all those sonar, sonar buoys that they're, they're dropping all over. So our solution on the car is up to 50%. Yeah, I know if you go too fast, you rip off your, your, your toad array. I think our toad array is damaged. At least that's, well, it may be better now. It's hard to tell. All right, so we're up to a 50% solution on the Kara. I wonder if launching a long-range torpedo might be a smarter tactic, um, just because... I think there's less of a likelihood it'll give away our exact position. Um, of course, they can always fire back down on the bearing that the torpedo comes from, but they won't detect it the second it's out of the water. They will detect, um, you know, they will detect my ship the second it fires a harpoon. And that's the, the risk with a, a missile. It gives you a much longer reach uh, to hit the enemy, but it also... Um, you know, makes you <laughs> pretty vulnerable because all of a sudden a missile pops out of the water. You know, at this one spot, they know you're within a couple hundred yards of that spot below the water. I just, I figured the car will hear the torpedo. I just didn't know if they would hear it right away. Given it doesn't go active right away, I would think they may not pick it up, especially at 16 kilometers difference. Kind of sailing at an angle away from this uh, sonar buoy line. The enemy is still hunting me. I'm not getting any direct pings against me, which is good, but I'm kind of boxed off from trying to approach the Kara. I don't know how long those buoys last. We've already taken a torpedo. I'd rather not take another. Especially with our hull at 43%, I think one torpedo is, uh, is about done, you know, we'd be about done for. The car is closing on us slowly. Either that or a solution just is, is getting more accurate and we know it's closer. Yeah, Paul, I don't think U-boat's any deeper. If anything, I think that's more superficial. It seems to me that it looks very much like a, an arcade sim. I get that this game isn't super realistic. I mean, you've got an external camera. I can just go around, and, you know, that allows me to really strategically play how I want to avoid enemy torpedoes and the like. So I get that, that it's not ultra realistic in that sense. But it is still, you know, so far I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um... You know, it's it seems to model combat very effectively. You know, I've got to deal with sonar buoys. I've got to deal with uh, dipping sonars on choppers. I've got bear bombers. You know, the tactics seem about right. Not being an expert in tactics myself, I could be wrong. Uh, but it's it's still a lot of fun. And I wonder if the car is moving into the Krivik to try and pick up survivors. Um, then he made it off. I have I, don't, I was kind of hoping I'd have like a a unit glossary in here that I could look and see how large the car is the 
still pinging away. All right, I'm loading my last moss. Let's see here. Any particular reason you recommend I ditch the harpoon for a torpedo? Um, I wouldn't say it's command like. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it to that level of detail. I'm gonna turn left. See if kind of approaching from another direction helps at all. I'm tempted to use time compression, but I I just don't know if I trust myself that much. Things get out of hand very quickly. What's this? What was that blue dot over here on the left? Anyone know what that was? He directly above me. Oh yeah, he just flew directly above me. Yikes. So. Anyway. Um, I'm wondering if we lost the car because he's now in our baffles. We kind of turned our back to... Oh, shit. That's a sonar buoy right on top of us. See there, they dropped one right on top of us. Right here. Yikes. So far, no weapons gone. But that's a little bit concerning. I don't know if he's got me. We reacquired the car, but our solution is all to shit. Down to 26%. It's rapidly improving, though. Gonna drop a torpedo right on us. Man, this is this is challenging. <laughs> All right, so he's over here. It looks like he's about to fly right back over top of us. I think. All right, let's level out. So far, nothing in the water. Oh, wait. Shit. Not us? I thought I saw our, our little circle here on the map, but I guess not. Huh. Alright, solution's up to 60%. So we're now kind of running parallel back the other direction against these sonar buoys. These guys have got to give up at some point, right? How many sonar buoys do they carry? Sure, more than six. Sure hope it's not going to drop a torpedo. I don't know. He's flying right over the top of me again. He literally just flew over top of me. I want to get that solution up to 90% before I fire. Then I think we go deep. Uh, 
slow a bit. I think we'll slow to five knots. We'll see if that helps us out at all on our... You can see the solution jumped up a bit there. I just don't know. What do you guys think? Harpoon him to death? Or my, my thought with a harpoon is maybe we can get a missile into him before he can really react. Problem is that gives away our exact position and we don't have a lot of speed. Our hull's been damaged so I don't think we can make more than ten knots. But we could throw a, uh, a harpoon out there and then, as the harpoon's going, throw a moss out there right away to try and deflect attention away from us. What is this blue? Is this the, the bear? There's the enemy surface vessel. We can't see it, it doesn't seem. Oh, we can. Here he is. Here's the good old surface vessel. The Kara. All right. No, we can't fire the hope harpoon. We're below 200 feet. Fuck. I'm not going to put myself above 200 feet. Just not enough room to maneuver in that case. We'll go with two torpedoes. I'm going to launch two at the car, though. It is a bigger vessel, I think, so it may be more difficult to hit. He's barely moving, by the way. He's only making 12 knots, which for a surface ship is nothing. You can hear that damn bear bomber. He knows exact. I feel like he knows exactly where he are. He are. He keeps flying over us. All right. Two torpedoes away. Um, let's turn slowly away. Ah, oh, fuck! Wire break. And both torpedoes. They're way too close in for that to happen. I think they go active almost immediately when you have a wire break. The only reason I'm, I haven't launched the moss yet is I don't want to immediately... just don't want the mosses. I don't want the enemy to... I don't want my torpedoes to acquire the moss. I guess that's my concern. It's pinging us. Alright, getting that moss out. It's gonna go the opposite direction of our sub. try another one of these. I'm putting another torpedo in the water to hopefully allow my wire to... You can see he is maneuvering. I don't think he's launched anything yet. Wire break? I'm not even moving. I'm moving five knots. And I'm not maneuvering. For fuck's sake. I'm going to 
temperature. Ambient noise. Does this ambient noise ever move? I fired torpedoes at 900 feet before, and they didn't. They didn't break. Chopper's above us now, I think. Yeah, we're down here. Surface vessel here. It's up here. I don't have any more mosses. Let's level out a bit. I want to stay below 500 feet if I can. Would have liked these guys to go active already. I assume they go active the second that they uh, that they have a wire break. That's how it used to work in um, um, fast attack. Just kind of looking to see if there's. I think I, I overshot these things. I don't think they're going to acquire and come back. Sunk ship. Why is he diving down? Are the sunk ship or, or me? Are these enemy torpedoes? It's, it's really hard to keep everything straight. Well, fuck, where are these things going? They're acquiring a sunk ship? That's logical. Uh, all right. Are we flooding? Oh shit, we're flooding. Why are we flooding? Oh god. Get some rise on the planes. I'm guessing we're going to lose our wire right away again. Pretty close to right away. Trying to bring some bring some rise on the planes here. You can see here we had some flooding here and, and this whole compartment is flooded. So far, it doesn't seem that we've got anything in the water against us. Gonna have to slow my ascent, hopefully. Using some ballast, getting rid of some ballast to bring us up a little bit better. Planes didn't seem to be doing enough with that flooding damage. I don't know if we can pump this out or, or what. We've about leveled off. New torpedo in the water. I 
and how, okay, so I'm sorry I'm screwing up, but how exactly do I set a torpedo shallow? This button points up. Gotta like have our planes permanently set up to get this thing to rise at any. Yeah, okay, figured. Car is down to a fifty one percent solution. Whole bunch of sonar buoys in the water. I hope I can level off at around two hundred feet. I'm just debating using a harpoon and getting the hell out of here. The problem is even if I destroy that ship, they're gonna have They've already got it. I feel like they've already got a, a decent read on me. I have to struggle to maintain depth here. I don't know how to get. I don't feel like I've got the ability to get out of here. All right, maybe we can level off now. This whole compartment flooded. It does look like we're pumping some water out. Oh boy. So here goes our missile. We'll see, uh... If it acquires anything, I just fired. That's kind of a, a snapshot prey. I'm already diving due to my... Oh, shit. I'm already diving due to the, the compartment being flooded. You can see the enemy just launched what appears to be a... I'm assuming a rocket guided torpedo. And our missile just got shot down, I believe. Shit. Shit. All right. They've got a really good read on us. They launched a rocket-guided torpedo. I can't find a balance here. I don't want to surface, but I also don't want to just die. Actually, we don't have any more mosses either. All right, I am going to jump up. We've got a really good track on the Kara. Thinking of firing another, maybe two more harpoons if I can get up above 200 feet. Hopefully before this thing closes in on me. I am right here. See when this thing drops. How screwed I am. Overshoot, 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 overshoot. Oh, God. Multiple torpedoes in the water. I think that's about all they wrote for me. All right, we're going to get another one off in the word. Torpedo! And we're dead. Abandoned ship. If we can even still do that. Did we hit him? Well, we got him. We destroyed the enemy ship, but we got it destroyed. All right, so USS Narwhal lost. We abandoned our ship. We sunk the enemy car in Krivik. 
Those were the only two ships. So we did lose our sub, but we sank the enemy as well. Soviets capture sub crew. Soviet spokesman's claim to have captured the surviving crew along with the commanding officer of USS nuclear powered sub. Damn. That end the campaign for us? Yeah. All right, well, that was quite an exciting uh, battle, in my opinion. The cat and mouse sunk two enemy surface vessels, but was sunk in return. Uh, we did end up losing the campaign as our crew somehow got off the boat, but was captured. Um, nonetheless, I hope it was an enjoyable video for you guys. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm going to continue playing Cold Waters, uh, and uh, I will probably stream again tonight. Uh, hope that was more worth watching than last night. I'm definitely slowly learning my way through the game and getting more proficient with the game. Um, and uh, tomorrow I endeavor to last more than one uh, engagement. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer signing out.